are shining. Thank you. Ah, relationship looks good on you. Thank you. Hey, this guy is your lucky charm. Oh. You have your ideal man. My darling, do you know what I want you to be doing every day? What? Every morning when you wake up, eh? Kneel down and be thanking God for giving you a man like Dora. Mm -hmm. My darling, see, it's not easy to find such a nice man who takes care of you, is loving, it's kind. Do you know how difficult it is to get such a man in this world these days? Hey, it's like a haunting game, my darling. So please, you should be thankful. Cassie, cut me some slack, okay? Duran is equally lucky. In fact, he's even more lucky to have a sweet babe as myself all to himself. Mm. Cassie, look at me now. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> My darling, see, that's where you're missing it. It's also a problem for a woman as devastatingly beautiful as yourself to keep such a man. You know, you have to deal with hate from fellow women who are not as pretty as you are, and then insecure men who cannot have you. It takes a man with guts to keep a lady as beautiful as yourself. So, my dear, you're lucky to have him. Whatever floats your boat, Cassie. Mm -hmm. So, what do I offer you? What do you have? Let me surprise you. I'm coming, eh? Big sister, I am hopelessly and helplessly in love with Chloe. What else is expected of me other than to be patient with her? Love, love has no rules. Love has no guidelines. That's why when a person is in love, everything is insignificant and everything is out of control. I'm glad you know you're going out of control. Bro, you deserve more than what you're getting from this girl. I thought by now you would have molded her into what you want her to be. You don't understand, Pamela. Time, time is everything, right? If, if Chloe says she wants time, I am willing to give her all the time in the world. You know why? Because I love her. Time, you, you mean more time. Please spare me the whole abalo. Isn't three years long enough for her to give up this baby girl life and face reality? Okay, uh, <clears throat> this, this is my baby girl we're talking about. My love. I may have forgotten she drives you nuts. But on a more serious note, bro, how long do you want to continue like this? Because all I see is a door without a key. Stop deluding yourself. Call a spade a spade and end this sham of yours you call a relationship. It is wrong for you to call my relationship a sham. I believe you know that. Well, it's better said than not. Bro, you're not happy. You're not. I am happy. I am happy. Even your eyes betray you. Bro, these are substitute signs to tell that you're not happy. You're only trying to put up appearances. I love Chloe. And Chloe loves me too. You know, I would suggest that you stop wasting your time because I want to change. Fine. I'll give it a rest. But that reminds me. I hope she would agree to get pregnant this time. I mean, it's been three years, so the relationship is no longer young, as she would normally say. Um, uh, anyway, let's talk about something else. Um, how are you? How was work? How was your family? What, what brings you to my house? Well, I just came to check up on you, know how you're doing. As you can see, I am fine and well. I'm glad you are. Yeah. Yeah.
I can't take this anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't take this. This is too much. What is wrong with you? Why would you litter plates everywhere in the kitchen? The whole house is looking like a pack of zombies run through the entire place. Babe, relax. I forgot, okay? You know I had a million things to do and see, I'm styling my hair. Besides, you don't expect me to go and be washing dishes with my nails now. Uh-uh. <laughs> you were styling your hair. So what, what, what happens to the dishes? Mm, I don't know. They get the gate man now. They get the gate man to wash it and we're good. The gate man? Uh-huh. Can you hear yourself? It's not a big deal. God. For crying out loud, there is a societal stereotype that women are supposed to be organized, neat, and not dirty. What? what? OK, all right. Change of approach. Can you at least change? Turan, please, let's not go down this road, OK? I do my best to look good for you. Give me some credits. Uh, uh, you keep making it seem like I'm just playing. It's easy to be looking fine for my husband all the time. The beauty of a woman lies within her unique ability to take care of her man, herself, and her immediate surrounding. Don't you understand? It does, but babe, uh, recently you're just always snapping at me every time now. You weren't always like this. Oh. Thank you, chill, Talk, 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 talk. Don't you think you're applying too much products for one night? Babe, I do all this for you, so you should appreciate me instead of sounding like this. And I understand. But that does not mean that you will not prioritize health over vanity. You're a man, so I'm not even going to waste my time to explain anything. You can't understand. Chloe. Raising a family is a spiritual thing. Before we bring young souls into the world, we need to be ready to teach them to be better versions of themselves. Do you understand? So our relationship is bad now because we don't have all those things going on. We've been together just three years. I've asked you to give me more time to figure things out. More time? more time because you have refused to draw the line? And how do you call three years just? That line I have always known. That line you have refused to draw. All I am trying to say is that I, I'm not trying to win over you. I know you are not trying to win over me we are on the same team, and I love you so much. Are you going to love me when I'm fat? Are you still going to love me when my breasts are sagging because I've been breastfeeding children all day? Are you still going to love me when I'm ugly? Just let's not do this, Turan, please, OK? I don't have the energy for this.
Can you finish up so I can lay down on my side of the bed? to do this with you. No way. How long will it take you to settle? How long? When are we going to settle down? When? We're not getting any younger. Don't you realize it? Duran, I am still working on myself. I have to be ready mentally. I have to be ready physically. I have to be ready in all ramifications. This is not child's play. This is forever we're talking about. Just please give me six more months to comprehend. Please. Six months? This was the exact thing you said the last time we had this conversation. What does it matter, Duran? This isn't a walk in the park. I'm still a work in progress. Just... You know what? I'm, I'm done having this conversation. What is even wrong with you, eh? Making commitments in a relationship as awesome as yours is the best thing to do, huh? Besides, growth comes with so many ups and downs, so what exactly is your issue? Like what? Chloe, he has been patient with you for three good years. Cassie, starting a family is not an easy thing. It takes so much commitment, and I'm not ready for that right now. I'm not. Chloe, are you scared that your life is going to stop when you start raising a family? Yes, because it will. Uh -uh. Cassie, are you saying that you don't know that I'll lose all my beauty, all my shape, everything is going to go away because I'm having children? I'm not ready for that right now, please. I can do all that later. Don't say that, eh? You have an awesome romantic relationship. Starting a family is not going to make it any less romantic or awesome. Cassie, having a family is just going to give you more things to juggle in life. I need time to figure it out. I can't just jump into it. I am not ready. This girl, you have one apple that has fallen so far from the tree. Come, you need to go back to your roots, so. Mm, I will, but just not right now. <laughs> okay. Are you saying what, what I think you're saying? Perhaps you're connecting. Chloe must surely be giving you tooth for supper. Come on, bro. You need to draw the lines here. You already have a false obligation on your perception of marriage. It's time to set some boundaries for her. I try. I try to set some boundaries, but every time I attempt to do so, I begin to feel guilty. I am trying so hard not to be chauvinistic. No, your imaginations must be playing games with you. Come on, bro. You know the legitimate boundaries to set. And this is the cornerstone to a stable and growing relationship. How, how did you even meet? We met at a cocktail event. Very trendy. 
Chloe was still back in the university, but she just suffered an accident earlier, so she wore a sling. She was so beautiful and helpless. And? And we got talking. We spoke till about 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and we realized that we shared a lot of interest and so much in common. And <laughs> she stayed with me until she went back to school. When she came back, I, I realized that I was in love with her so much. Every hug she gave to me, I felt closure. And I, th I thought to myself, okay, I think we're headed somewhere, and I asked out. And now? What do you mean by that? Why has this magic that started the relationship not taken it into marriage? I guess we're taking our time. You need a watchful eye here, bro. Marriage is like a mosaic you build with your partner through every moment you create in your love story. You know this. And I just wish you can squeal into her ears. God, that girl is so adamant. Jesus Christ. Well, that's where we are now. But honestly, you need to set the boundaries. Yeah. I hear you. Boundaries will be set. Sure. Going somewhere this early. Good morning, babe. Hi. I I have a million things to do, so I'm just gonna. A million things to do, and you have not fixed me breakfast to eat. Well, yeah. On my way back, I'll buy something for us to eat. Okay, on the better side. Why don't you buy whatever it is you want to buy and come here and fix it? I'm gonna be late for my facials. I have to go pick up my dress for Pamela's birthday. My hair is in Lagos. I have to go pick that up as well. Babe, like, I'm locked and loaded today. I understand everything you were saying, but clear. Can we not fight today, please? I'll be back soon. I'll see you later. Not today, Satan. Not today.
Don't you dare. I shouldn't dare do what? What I mean, I, I like the color of the, you know. The polish. The polish, yeah. The sweet. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And when are you traveling? Um, Thursday next week. And I'll be gone for just a week. Just a week? Yeah. A week is long. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. But don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. If you say so. Yeah. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because I went out and I got my hair done, looking so pretty, and you didn't say anything. Oh. You know, actually, I was going to... Let me see. Let me take a look. Wow. You know, I was, I was actually going to say something. Mm, when? Because it looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. It looks attractive and nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> By the way, <laughs> how many guys said hello when you went to eat there? Stop. No one. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> well, since we're on hair, um, you know, I always look so pretty for you. Yes, you do. I am going to need two new hairs. I want to get like two new different colors, you know, for like diversity, you know, just look different. Babe. Yeah? Um, why don't we do one hair? You know, that hair costs an arm and a foot. Just saying. Chloe, babe, babe. Babe. Oh. And Hello? What? What? Where? Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Yes. Yes, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Yes. So the, the impact of the accident was directly to his spine and he sustained a fracture because of that. He, he's going to be okay though, right? Yes, he will. He will. Um, we've done our best here, but he needs a good physiotherapist. Um, okay. We can recommend one for you. Yes, yes, please. Okay. Um, Okay, call this number and um
my God, I'm so sorry. How did this happen? I took a cab to the airport for my business trip. And then we got hit by another car behind the right hand side where I was sitting. I'm so sorry this happened to you, okay? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Where is Chloe? She went to make her hair. She should be back soon. Tell me, Bam. Is Chloe going to freak out? Is she going to fall out of love for me? Because I am partly paralyzed. It's a diverse concept, okay? Let's not limit it to one standard. And besides, Chloe is a very caring woman. Do not patronize me, Pam. Look at me. I cannot do nothing. I can't stand. I can't move. I'm insecure here. Look at, look at me. Look at me. Just put yourself together, OK? Listen, love is a duty, just like relationship. Okay, it's something we decide to do rather than something that overtakes us. And besides, what makes you feel Chloe's love was conditional? Because she told me that she was attracted to me for the way that I love her, for the way that I am able to take care of her. Now, I'm worried. Don't. I am disturbed. Is she going to forsake me? If I am not able to do any of these things, wouldn't she, wouldn't she leave me for another man? Wouldn't she fall out of love for me? Don't worry, bro, OK? Everything might fail, but true love exists as long as you have laid a good foundation for it. Listen, a woman might be attracted to you by all those things you mentioned, but she will love you for something else. The way you run the home, the beautiful kids you have together, and most especially the way you put your foot on the ground while making decisions as a man. Yes, I know our thoughts create so much insecurities that gives lies that we have to believe. But listen, Duran. You are a good man. And it takes a good woman to figure out a good man. Okay? In less than two days, your physiotherapist will start treatment and you'll be back on your feet again. Okay? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I'm so sorry. Lord. I'm so sorry.
Hi. Good morning. Uh, hello. My name is Hida. Hida Rabat from UNIT's Medical Agency. I'm the physiotherapist for Mr. Don Smith, so I'm here for his appointment. Right. I I remember. Um, Miss Hilda Rabat. Okay, Hilda. Um, come with me. Thank you. Don't worry, he's going to be okay. Hmm? I mean, we have followed up carefully. And for someone like him who works out, he's going to be out of it in no time. I hope so. You look really worried. You must really love your man, isn't it? Well, that's nice. <laughs> I mean, selfless and loyal men are priceless and very hard to find. So abiding by the golden rule is the best. <laughs> 
which is being supportive. I know if the table were torn, he would definitely do the same for you. So you should inspire him to push through in his weakest moment. Well, happier days aren't always around the bend. Okay, but it's good to know he has someone who loves him. I'll take my leave now. Please do take care of him. Thank you. It's all right. Take care. Hilda, hi. How are you? Very well. And you? Oh, I'm 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 good. You cleaned the house. Oh, yes. Any problem? No, no, no problem. And um, are you cooking as well? Is that what I'm smelling? Yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> um, Duran was hungry, so. I decided to fix him something real quick before I leave, since the medication he had requires him to stay in bed for at least four hours. Okay. Okay. But um, is he responding to treatment fast? Oh, perfectly. He is. And I tried something really strong and active on him today. So at least it's gradually relieve his muscles. Okay. Um... Thank you, Hilda. You clean the house, you're cooking. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's nothing. Say less. I mean, you paid for it, so you deserve it. Right. Okay. Um, okay, let me go finish up, okay? Oh. Oh, sorry. That reminds me. Um, you might need to give him some space. He doesn't need those... Mushy, you know what I mean. Hmm? In order not to stress the muscles and make the pill he took less effective. Right, okay, noted. It's okay. I'm over. Right. Mm. Babe, this food is really nice. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Mm. This Hilda lady, she can really cook. She can fix a meal as good as she can fix bones. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Look at that. Mm. 
Tá bom. Hum. If I eat like this every day, I'm telling you, I will recover. Oh, hi. Hello, Mr. Duran. Hi. I can see you're on your way already. Oh, yes. I have to quickly get back home. I have a few other things I need to take care of. You know you don't always have to rush. You know, I... I could use some of your company. And... the, the meal you made last time, it was nice. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, did, did you perhaps make... Make some more. Oh, what a shame. I didn't. I even asked Cleo if I should, but she said no. She did. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You just broke my heart. I was really looking forward to having some of it. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, let's make a deal. Hmm? When you get better, I'll make you a very nice meal. I mean, you can come over to mine and eat. And that will only happen if you try to improve on yourself by standing on your own. All right, no problem. So we have a deal? Yes, we do. Great. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. Drive safely. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Take
I really want to say thank you so much for coming. I appreciate. <laughs> and for pushing yourself to get better on time. Hmm. That's impressive. Making my work easier. <laughs> Words are so powerless to express my gratitude. Thank you. And I want to thank you. First of all, for the wonderful meal. Showing up, believing in me, helping me with my therapy and my recovery. None of this would have been possible without you. And I feel better now. Although, just, you know, I have this slight little pain around my hip. Don't worry, I took it away soon. <laughs> and feel free to stop by anytime, any day, for something like this. <laughs> I will take you up on that offer. You should. <laughs> So, um, no husband, no boyfriend, never get to bring it up in any of our conversations. <sighs> yeah, um, let's just say I have never been lucky with men. It's been hot after hot. I, I'm so sorry, I, I shouldn't have brought it. It's okay. My ex, he was quite a good guy. Mm. Let's just say he was scared of commitment. I really tried my best, trust me. So I had to call it a quit. <laughs> I had to think we did it for three years. Who would have thought? <laughs> Yeah. Life isn't easy anywhere, everywhere. You know, we all, irrespective of who we are, have unpleasantries in our lives to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It. Please, let's not go down memory lane. Emotions are frequent. Yeah, and the food is going to get cold. So just eat. <laughs> um, babe, why are you back so late? Um, I had some things I needed to fix. I. Babe, I'm tired. I, I need to rest, okay? Yeah, you could just lay there. I'll do all the work, okay? Oh, I need to rest. I promise you tomorrow we can have all the fun you 15 want. minutes. I just need to sleep, all right? Babe, 15 minutes, okay? And then you sleep all you want. No. Okay. You've never rejected me before. I just said I'm tired, that's it. You're being really weird. You know, I want to thank you so much. You know, this past few days, I have learned so much from you. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You are such a caring man. Chloe is so lucky to have you, honestly. And I'm beginning to think that I was never destined to meet a good man. Considering my experience with men. Don't say that. I mean, look at you. 
you're beautiful, smart, intelligent, and hardworking. Any man would be lucky to have you. Mm. <laughs> I wish I could believe that. Maybe you haven't found the right man yet. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's say all the good men are taken. But... <laughs> Look, Hilda. When the right man comes, you will know. Was that how it was with you and Chloe? Mm. Chloe. Love at first sight? Let's just say it just happened. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> Why? She's got everything. Look at you. You are handsome, caring, loving. I wonder why you guys aren't even married yet. If I were in her shoes, I would push for marriage. <laughs> Don't talk down on yourself. I mean, you are every man's dream. Really? So, do I take the buses for you? If I was single? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Hmm. So you would consider me for a keep if you were single? But you're not single, so it's not make me feel better. Can I... Never mind. <laughs> oh, these ladies are hilarious. Come on, that's, that's, that's nice. That's my favorite part, Daddy. Duran. Why aren't you dressed for Benson and Alicia's anniversary? What's going on? I, I thought I told you that I canceled. Yes. You know, I absolutely forgot that I had a training session. I was supposed to meet up with my physiotherapist and then my training partner and all that so we could, you know, fix a couple glitches and all that. It's important. I, I, I can't miss it. Duran, why is it that when it comes to me, you bring up this spine thing as an issue? Are you indirectly trying to tell me something? You know what? Let's not even go that route. Can I go back to what I was watching? Well, how did you find this place? Well, I come here to cool off, you know, rest my head. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. And I do love to swim. Do you know how to swim? Of course. I'm a fish. <laughs> oh. And this place is quite therapeutic. It is? Yes, it is. I agree with you. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Um, so. Yeah. 
are you coming to my place tomorrow? To your place? Okay, what's happening at your place? Nothing much. I decided to make you a very special jollof rice. A little buddy told me it's your favorite. Okay, just tell me the time. I know the place, your place, of course. In fact, as you mentioned that, all the worms in my tummy began to bump. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, honestly, I was joking. I'm not making you any jollof rice. Really? Mm -hmm. I was joking. I'm not making you love us. One zero. <laughs> one zero. And it's going to remain one zero. Yeah. Don't worry me. I'm going to make you a special one. So you just pulled her in. No. Thanks for the meal. It was really yummy. Every grain of rice was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, please don't flatter me. I know it's not compared to what Chloe gives you at home. What? <laughs> if wishes were horses, even beggars will ride. Wait. Are you having problems with her? Are you at loggerheads? What? Well... <laughs> Your answer begs that question, so... Well, do you want the... truth, or do you want... a filtered version of the truth? Why will anyone want the filtered version of the truth? <sighs> I think you... Uh... Just lonely and sad. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> Silence sometime isn't the best answer, Duran, if you ask me. So why don't you just tell me whatever it is and be free from this heavy burden? I... You know what, never mind. I think I will give my stress some wings and let them fly away. Once again, thanks for the meal. It was nice. Yeah. It's okay, just get a grip off yourself, all right? Sure. Hello? Hi, Pam. <sighs> Chloe, is everything all right? Why are you calling at this ungodly hour? Everything is not all right. Duran isn't home at this time. I've been calling him. He hasn't been picking up. He has been unreachable. I don't know. Did he, did he tell you where he might be going? Or, I don't know. Have you heard from him? No, I haven't seen him today. Okay, okay, it's okay. Just calm 
Linda, okay? I'll give him a call. I'm sure everything is okay. okay. It's probably nothing. I'll give him a call, okay? Um, okay. Thank you. Please let me know as soon as you hear from him or anything like that. Definitely. But Chloe, calm down, okay? I'm sure it's nothing. Just calm down. Thank you. All right, dear. had a heart attack. I've been calling you. I called you all night. What happened to your phone? Um, I'm fine. I, I fell into a case of m mistaken identity and I was arrested by the police and they took me to a nearby police station. How? Where? It took the grace of God and the discernment of a few people, you know, who knew me for them to let, let me go and set me free. I, I didn't even have my phone until this morning when I recovered it from those rogues who call themselves police officers. Seriously, the government needs to have a police reform. I am so sorry, babe. We really need to be more careful. I, you need to take a shower. You need to eat. I don't know, freshen up. I, I just I just need some sleep. That's all. I, I, I had a very long sleepless night. Sorry. Yeah. Come, let's go, Shiko. Come. Freshen up. Sorry. How are you, Doc? I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Sorry. How do I confess this to Chloe? How? I am so burdened with it. I am so burdened with this guilt. This is some deep shit. What was I even thinking? Come on, Duran. What came over you? What were you thinking? Oh, man, I messed up. Maybe I should tell her, right? 
to forgive me. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, man. I'm just going to have to leave with this. Oh, God, help me. Babe, there's, there's something I want to discuss with you. Are you okay? What's with the long face? I just got off the phone with Shelia. Terry has been cheating on her with his secretary. Terry? Really? Yes, for only God knows how long. Uh, how did she know about it? He told her. He just blurted the whole thing out, like, and I'm so surprised. These two seem so in love, like, they're all about each other, and then he does this. Yeah, poor girl. That must be really tough on her. Shelia is a wreck, and Terry is a fool. Very stupid man to have tried such rubbish. Imagine what Shelia is going through. Just imagine. The babe, you wanted to... Huh? <clears throat> um... No, nothing, nothing. I'm just small-ish. Nothing I can't handle. Yeah, that... Oh, oh my truth. Let me text Shelly. I just I feel so bad for her. This guy is such a foolish man. Hi, babe. Hi. Hi. Um, I have something very important I want to discuss with you. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm here. I, um, I'm ready to start a family. I, I know you're surprised, but like, when I couldn't reach you last night, I, I kept thinking about what my life would be without you and my life would be empty. And I really don't want to live without you, Duran. You're such an amazing man. I'm so lucky. I'm blessed to have a man like you in my corner. I just, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for how much I've stressed you. I, if that, none of that will happen anymore. Like, all that is over. I'll, I'll be the exact type of woman you want. I'll be anything you want me to be. I just, I'm sorry. I'll give you as many beautiful babies as you want also. Uh, uh, yes, I, I mean, it's, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, it's okay. So are you like going to give me a hug or something? Sure. Come here. You want to join me? Yeah. Okay. What are you up to? Just, you know. I really wasn't doing anything. I was just... My mind was all over the place. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How about you? I'm good.
Uh -uh. Babe, you're still on this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just um, decided to... Just trying to make sure everywhere is spotless. All right, babe. And do your thing. Yeah. Maybe I'll dance after when I'm done. Dance? Yeah. Okay. Will you join me? Huh? Will you join me? Uh, I can't even dance to save my own life. Well, that's because you don't listen to songs that make you want to dance. What kind of songs? I could download Afrobeat on your phone right now. You, I mean, download something. If it, it sounds be, good, I yeah. will listen to it. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, I can't even find my socks. Well, it's my shoe. I will wear it regardless. Okay. So, the songs are downloading. Yeah, you have some new Burner Boy in there to help you move your feet. Alrighty. Oh, I should hmm. get back to the laundry. Okay. Yeah. Alright, uh... I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah. He cheated. How did you know? I saw it on his phone. I saw the text messages. He goes to her house. They spend time together. She cooks for him. And you know, I saw the signs, but I was just so caught up in my own world that I just I ignored. 
<sighs> to run. Oh no. Eh, I'm so sorry, Clay. Take it easy. If anyone had told me to run or do something like this, I never would have believed. And you know, to make everything worse, it's Hilda he's doing it with. His therapist. What? I don't know, maybe because she cooks and she cleans and she has all these amazing qualities. You told me she helps you cook and clean, you know, made food for you and your man, but... She was cooking, cleaning. Duran really enjoys her food. Hmm. I see it now. He was introduced to a side of life he wasn't used to. He had gotten so used to you not being able to cook or clean. And he fell for her when she started doing these things. I know I haven't been the best person to live with. I know I haven't been domesticated, but I'm ready to meet him halfway. I'm ready to be the kind of woman he wants me to be. I'm ready to do what he wants me to do. No, girl. No. This is not a time for you to criticize yourself or cry. Duran is your man, and you need to fight for what is rightfully yours. Where am I going to start from? I don't have all these qualities that this woman has. I don't cook, I don't clean. Where am I going to start fighting from? Like, what's the value in repairing something that's already gone bitter? No one finds pleasure in drinking bitter wine. I don't know anymore. I don't see it as bitter. You know, I see it as a grace point between what hurts and what heals. You know, between the shadow of tragedy and the joy of light. You should try to find the sweetness in your bitterness, my dear. Mm hmm? You have to fight. Should I get you something to drink or eat? Hilda, Hilda, what, what is wrong with you? What? Oh, man. Uh, I need to tell Chloe about this. I, I need to tell Chloe. I need to confess. I need to confess. I, I need to confess. I, God, I need... What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I need to confess. I, I, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I cannot do this. I cannot do this! I can't. This is not me. Ah. <sighs>
I know. I know I'm not the perfect woman of your dreams as you want me to be. I know I'm the woman who's always been all about her appearance, but I promise I haven't always been like this. I, I, I've just always struggled with the idea of commitment and family. I, growing up, my dad would just... My dad would always breathe down on my mom at the slightest provocation. Like, it was so toxic. It, it became, the whole family concept thing just became unbearable for me. And I, I struggled with commitment. I just... I just didn't know how to do it. You never told me any of this. You, you could have at least said something, anything. I didn't know how to. But instead, you made me feel worthless. You, you left me in the dark. What was I supposed to say? I, and besides, I was trying to find myself also. <laughs> Babe. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you not just because of your beauty. I love you because our spirit and our souls clicked. And the testament of our inner spirit became one, one. I love you. Even in your nonchalant pursuit of happiness, it never dissuaded me from how I felt and how I still feel about you. Remember, true love, true love never fails. I love you too, babe. And I'll be the perfect wife you want me to be. I'll do anything you want me to do. And I will be the perfect husband. And I promise I would not break down your neck. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry too. And I love you. Yeah. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm sorry too. I love you. I love you. I'm so sorry. Hi, babe. Well, I'm about to make your favorite meal. <laughs> well, no, you see when you come. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.
Hey, babe. Hi. Hi. It's today Christmas. <laughs> Why? Because I'm seeing all of this treat. Mm. Every day is about to be Christmas. Oh, really? Yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>